Toronto Raptors tomorrow night, uh, take it on the New Orleans Pelicans. They are eight and a half point dogs. What do you see from the Pelicans defense or the Raptors offense? That's going to get you home here without Scotty Barnes. Yeah, well, both of them, in my opinion, they'll they'll be without uh, Jakob Pertl as well. I think the Raptors are about to crater hard. Um, I think they were already cratering, but especially now that Scotty Barnes is likely done for the season, um, I don't see this team wanting to win many more games. They're going up against a top tier defense versus New Orleans Pelicans. They have a ton of energy to pour into this game as well. They're coming off three days off, of, uh, three days rest, and they'll have two days rest after this game as well. So one game in six days for the Pelicans. I think their defense comes out here and absolutely stifle this Raptors offense without um, their best players Scotty Barnes and without Jakob Hurdle as well who sometimes plays like a point center sometimes at the at the top of the key or whatever kind of like um, kind of kind of like a Jokic nowhere near like Jokic but that's kind of how he is um, to their offense there but you look at their last four games versus teams that have had any type of pulse on defense they've scored 105 versus the uh, Warriors they scored 99 versus the Spurs they scored 95 versus the uh, Cavaliers and then they scored 107 versus the uh, uh, Houston Rockets as well and obviously that was the Rockets playing on the road as well so um, I, I I mean I just love this Pelicans uh, defense uh, Herb Jones Trey Murphy man uh, Najee Marshall coming off the bench Jose Alvarado GTA uh, these guys here they they really care about Brian this is a team that cares about defense um, these days and I absolutely love their style of basketball so um, possibly they could come out rusty off uh, offensively but uh, you don't come out rusty on defense. It's all about uh, it's all about will, and it's all about imposing your will on the other team. That's exactly what I think they do here. I do think the Pelicans smack them up, but I feel a lot more comfortable with the Raptors. Team total under one ten and a half. I don't think they get past a hundred points in this game. All right, what do you think, Brian, about that one? I find myself constantly trying to figure out what the Pelicans want to be. Amen. I think Amen. They, I think at their best, they could compete with anybody. Just about. For all the reasons Jay Money said, um, they can play both sides of the ball. I do think that Toronto is going to begin to spiral. We're seeing a lot, a lot of Grady Dick minutes. That's going to be a thing going forward uh, because he's somebody who's, you know, they're trying to develop. Um, Kelly Olynyk is obviously a staple in that team now. Uh, RJ Barrett has dealt with some knee management, so they're treating him as if he's a veteran. And they've sat him a couple games here and there. So that's been interesting to sort of follow. And, you know, I don't think Toronto has ambitions to uh, really be that competitive this year. So I'm probably going to roll with that because I do think the Pelicans are, are you know, they're playing for something, clearly. Exactly. And they need some good seeding, some good fortune in the playoffs. And I think they could be dangerous if they get the right matchup in the first round.